Good morning, my brothers and sisters. It's only 5.22 in the a.m. and there should be no glow. There should be no glow. Do I need to point? I don't think I need to point. As you can see, we have the castle area. If you look carefully, you know, you can see the uh, little plumes in the front here. And as you can see, the glow area is quite active and healthy at this moment. That is freaking me out just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Sorry guys, I mean I do my best to monitor this, but I'm a little too close to it. And I wish I were further away. I might be a little calmer. So, that shouldn't be glowing. 5.23 in the a.m. Mountain Standard Time. But then that it looks like Split Cone is still got her uplift. Brothers and sisters. As you can see, we still have the glow spot. You know, this is a plume coming up from the castle. This is, you know, these these are from uh, the funerals down below. I'm not sure if this is from the guys or a grand area or down below here. It's kind of hard to tell right now. I believe it's from Grand. Yeah, you can see the hillside here. Yep, that's from Grand. Alrighty. Let's back up a little bit more. I'm doing my best here. It's way early in the morning. Just woke up. But when it's, things are happening, things are happening, you gotta film, right? As you can see, it's so bright, it's lighting up the snow. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have to do it. The irradiated snow is lighting up. It's glowing tonight. It's glowing for some reason. We don't know why. We don't know why the snow is glowing. But as you can see, the irradiated odd snow is glowing. Just joking, guys. Anyway, sometimes, sometimes I have to make a joke. <laughs> so the snow is glowing because uh, the glow spot is so bright that it's reflecting upon it. And yeah, it's now 5.31 in the a.m. I'm not sure how long it was going off because I just woke up. But the ash is coming. The ash is coming. Expect lots of ash today. It's gonna be icky. Yeah, it's gonna leave a lot of ash for a while. It'll probably clear out later, but I would expect a lot of ash around for a while. I mean, come on. Like, does that really make you feel comfortable? Really? Honestly, is that normal? Especially if you go back to the first time we start seeing those glows on older videos. Is that normal? Is this reflection, all of this, is that normal? I think not. I think not. Whew. Well. Uh, check in a couple minutes. The ash is starting to engulf it. Pretty soon it's going to block all the light out. So, yeah, bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. And keep praying that this gets so obvious that they can't hide it anymore. Well, would you look at that? That's interesting. That is interesting. The location of it. Now we expect castle. We expect grand, but um, I've expected this area to do this for a while, but hello. It's doing it. Finally doing it. Yeah. If you recall, there are a lot of fumaroles along here and there is a long crack back here as well where the fumaroles are shooting out of it's already a crack just saying folks just saying 
put better eyes on when everything clears up on what exactly just is going on here and what we're looking at and what just happened. But clearly, something big just happened over here. It's fun to see it and then wait for the sun to come up and wait for them to zoom in and go take a peek. Oh my, what's the what's the, what's the damage? What happened back here? So, I'll go look and you know, I'll probably be on it. Hopefully, right? Hopefully, I, it's not during the time when I have to take the doggies out. But how about that? That's a new one. That, my friends, this plume in that location is new. Brand new. Yah bless, Yah bless, Yah bless you, and keep you, and shine his face upon you. And as you can see, the glow is still going on back there. But what's happening now, it's not that the glow is going away, it's that the ash is slowly, slowly engulfing. And its opacity is covering the glow. Look at that plume, huh? I know exactly where it's at, too. Mm-hmm. God bless you and keep your shiny face upon you. Yeshua's coming. Brothers and sisters, we just take another quick peek as it's developing along. And, uh, as you can see, the ash plume. Let me see if I can play with the... So you can see the definition of the ash a little better. Yeah, you can. Okay, as you can see, the ash is coming in, settling in horizontally, doing its thing. That's a plume coming up from the uh, uh, castle area, the burn area. It's slowly, slowly coming in and in a horizontal ways. You can see the glow is still going on back there. It does cover it up and let it peek, and you know, you can still see it peeking through quite easily. Now it's 5.42 in the a.m. And it's still glowing. God bless you. Alrighty, alrighty, my brothers and sisters. So, this event is also a prime example of why you actually need to monitor the cams, why it's actually a job, why it actually takes time, why it actually takes one or two people to do it. Because if someone just looked in on the cam right now, would they have known at all that that event had happened? No. They would just say, oh, glowing snow, does that look right to you? And, uh, and uh, look at this old, old faithful. Oh, no, 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 no. We can see here we've got a little glow left, but it's hard to discern whether it's from the glow in the corner that's usually there or the big glow. You can tell now that the ash has com completely come down and blocked all the glow back there. Now, if someone just got up and turned on the camera right now, that's what they would report. That it's just dark. Was it just dark? No, clearly it was not. That's why this is a job. That's why it takes time. That's why you actually have to monitor the camps. You actually have to watch them over, you know, several minutes to hours, depending on the event, to discern what really is happening. You can't just go in glance and then post a report and assume and make up lies about what is going on. That's dishonest and misleading and just ignorant. Just, I hate to say it, but I have to. Just stupid. It's just stupid. It makes you look stupid. It, it misleads the public. And it just makes you look really, really stupid. Glowing snow? Give me a break. Come on, people. Stop lying. Stop just glancing. If you don't have time to monitor and discern, then don't do it. If you can't do something right, don't do it. If you can't do something right to the point where you're lying to the public, don't do it. Comprende? Kabish? Understand? Amadimye?
How many languages do I got to say it in? Got it? Misleading is misleading. Lying is lying. It's unscrupulous behavior. Don't do it. God bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. And that was a fun event, wasn't it? Sorry to be strict, but I don't do liars or misleaders. That one thing, that's one thing that just gets under my skin. Alrighty. As you can see, the ashes completely block the glow spot now. Completely block the glow spot. It's starting to get lighter because it's starting to get later. And the sun's going to be rising real soon. But, as you can see, if you weren't monitoring the cams and you just turn them on to do a five minute look-see report, spotty hole negligent report, you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even report a thing. So, truth. Truth is important. Embrace Christ, Yeshua. He loves us so much and embrace the truth he represented. God bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. And be careful who you watch.